might back off for a second. It looks like Toby will have to go inside. Mate, you got plenty of stick there, eh? Right? Yeah. We'll be good on the door. You get me one side, you get... I'll get Stewie and Paul each side of your door. Yep. And just get right in there and do it. Just get ready to get out. You can move quicker than him. Yep. Up. This is a critical moment. We can't use the door as a safety barrier. So far, the croc wants to keep as far away from Toby as possible. But if he senses an escape route at the other end, we'll have to move fast to get Toby out of the way. Open up. Up, just go up. Toby's first jaw rope is braided stainless steel wire, something the croc can't bite through. But it's a bit stiff, and we have to use sticks to push it into place. Wait. Okay, I'll, I'll go under again. The tension. Tell you what, Toby's got to be sweating bullets. But he isn't flinching, not even for a second. Good man. We'll guide you through, mate. Just come up to the air. There, go hard. Pull it. The legs. It actually, it actually feels like a, a female. A female. Yeah. female. That's what's the name now? Oh, oh. Zena. <laughs> and who wins the prize for guessing the right length? Two eight three five. Two eight two eight. That's so, nine foot three. Luke, Brett's I guess the winner. The question is, do you want to put a radio transmitter or a satellite? Because I'm pretty confident that I'll enough. toss the mail. I think you will put a radio transmitter on her. Yep. In this sort of area, we'll be able to track her. When she nests, we'll get a good idea what she's doing. So there's a whole range of things we'll get from this girl. Zena will be tracked. She'll become a techno croc. Absolutely nerve wracking. You see me and Mark, and we just can't help it. You know, we've been. Uh, team leaders, so to speak, for so long, but it just becomes instinctive, you just want to get in there. Xena's a perfect name for this female warrior crocodile. She was such a hard-hitting little unit that we all thought she was a guy, and up to a foot longer than she really is. Do we have a suggested release spot? Yeah, Tabe, I'd go for um, right there. Right, right there. there. Wouldn't you agree, Mark? It's the best position, it's nice and open. Radio. Everyone ready to lift? Remember, if she builds up, starts to go, just drop to the ground and hit. <laughs> yep, right there. Right, yo. Down. I think I found her. She's close. Get, getting the chance to be team leader, pulling out Zena the crocodile from her trap was probably one of the proudest moments of, of my life. Um, getting the chance to do that kind of thing with Steve there watching was nothing short of breathtaking. It was one of the proudest things I've ever done. Toby's working with real confidence, moving into the last dangerous stage. Get that off, and then it's the old one, two, three, you're yep. the last man stand. Yep. That's it, that's why I've got my hand there, mate. I've got to look after that transmitter. Crikey! We've all learned so much from Croc School. Mark and I have seen our team carry on like the warriors they are. All of our techniques are going to further the conservation of crocodiles. We've come up with new safe techniques that are going to be used into the future. Can I make a suggestion, mate? OK, here's what to do. Because you've got to cut both sides and you know you have to do that. You do not want to cut your croc. No. So take it down to the last fibre. Right, that gives you something to hang on to both sides. And then it's an easy cut here. Right, then you can't make a mistake. And take it off. That's it. Right, right, right. Right. Jaws are clear, my Jaws friend. are clear. Swap the threat. Yeah, mate. Yep, swap the threat. No look. I'm down to three, two, three, Stewie. Paul, and me. Unpredictable as ever, Zena runs for a tree and then she hits the water. Zena, Princess Warrior. Right, cameraman. Tommy! Hey! Well done. Good work. Thanks, Good mate. work, sport. Good work. Well done.
Good day. 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 Good what a little ripper. All those techno crocs cruising around with their flash transmitters giving out signals that's just perpetuating crocodile conservation. And it's time for Toby's graduation ceremony and his well very done, special well done, croc mate. school diploma. Yeah. You Fair beauty, up, mate. Croc school is out for some. Here we go, here we go. My team have excelled. They've done exceptionally well. I am so proud of each and every one of them. And the knowledge and expertise that they take away from this hands-on crocodile capturing and releasing experience. You just can't get anywhere in the entire world. It's been a great experience and I can't wait for the next team to come up. <laughs> <laughs>